Wow, can you believe we are already on step six in building resiliency? These have been great. I have learned so much. Yes, they are great. And this number six, we're talking about the word goals here. Hmm. Okay, so when I say the word goals, what is the first thing that comes to your mind, Mrs. Janelle? When I think of goals, I think of trying to um, plan something I really want to do and then getting to the end of the finish line. Right, right. So when we set a goal, what we're really doing is we're saying, here's where I'm at, here's where I want to be. Now, this is the way we can help our kids and ourselves move toward that goal. First of all, we need to be realistic about the goals that we set. And then we also have to be deliberate in how we are going to get to that goal. We don't have to, when you learn to swim, I hope somebody didn't just throw you into the deep end and hope that you could do it. Probably didn't happen. I hope not anyway. So we take tiny steps. We start in the shallow end. We learn how to put our head underwater. We learn how to, you know, start to do some of the different swimming strokes or, you know, whatever. And we work our way up to the deep end. It's the same way with these goals. Think of a big assignment that you have to get done. Right. You're not going to write a term paper in one night, hopefully. Right. It won't turn out so well. Okay. But if you break it down, it just seems more achievable. You're going to have more time to put into it. That's really giving you some clear thought on it. And you're going to end up with a better finished product at the end, okay? So assignments for kids, same thing, just break it down. When they say, I've got this huge project to do, okay, how are we gonna break it down? How much are you going to get done on it every night for a little bit of time instead of leaving this whole big diorama or whatever it is that you have to do for the night before, okay? Mrs. K, that makes me think of um, the sticky notes that you did with your schedule one day. If I have a big assignment I need to do or a big goal I wanna reach, I could put a little bit of it on one of those sticky notes each day until I've accomplished it. Right. I like that idea because then it's a visual too. And yeah. a lot of us are driven by visuals. They're good reminders. Thanks for sharing that. I like that idea. Okay, stay tuned because step seven is coming up next.